Guys, without further ado, here she is. Came up a lot of sounds more when I was not around. Certain people that I know, they ain't no longer about. My name came up a lot of sounds more when I was not around. Certain people that I know, my name came up a lot of sounds more when I was not around. Certain people that I know, they ain't no longer about. My name came up a lot of sounds more when I was not around. Certain people that I know. Know that the ride or die, I keep boys by my seat. Know that the ride or die, I keep boys by my seat. Oh, boy. Day we hustle, but the night we. Oh, boy. Know that the ride or die. Know that the ride or die, I keep boys by my seat. Know that the ride or die, I keep boys by my seat. Brothers, my guys, know that they fly. Know that they fly. Know that they ride or die. Cody's brothers, my guys, know that they fly. Know that they fly. Know that they ride or die. This, guys, is a 2003 Nissan 350Z. It wasn't my first choice, but it popped up and it's in good condition. And we made a deal happen, and I think she's gonna be a fun little ripper. She's already got some good parts on her. Um, we got, obviously, you can tell she's lowered. So we have coilovers, we have wheels, we have Brembo brakes. Uh, we got some little accessories inside as well. Little Nismo shift knob, uh, bride shifter boot, Terra steering wheel too. Pretty nice. Feels really good. Actually, big fan of it. Uh, is that a Tomei dog? Yes, absolutely. A lot of good stuff. Alrighty guys, we got her pulled into the garage. It was getting very dark and very cold really, really quickly outside. So I wanna take a little bit of a closer look at it now that we're inside. Again, this is a 2003 Nissan 350Z. It's in pretty decent shape. As you can see, it doesn't have a front bumper, but it does have the AWM bash bar. I'm not so sure I like this design, but nonetheless, that's what we're rocking uh, for now. Uh, we'll see about getting a bumper here in the future. You can see a few things that it has uh, already done to it right off the rip. Uh, you can tell outside that it's lowered, obviously. It's got the wheels, got the HR headlights. Uh, I'll go more in depth with what the car already has in a future video, already planning for that one. Um, and I actually already filmed a video going over all of the things that this car needs. So I won't do all of that in this video here. I just wanted to give you guys a little closer look and obviously there's certain things that you can see. The uh, Aodon or Odon wheels with the Brembo brakes. The Brembo brakes are pretty sweet. I, I like the gold and I think it actually matches the red. I'm not a huge fan of red as you guys heard me say in the video uh, when I picked this car up. Uh, uh, I've probably mentioned it in previous videos. I'm not a red guy. It's just not a color I'm into, but it actually looks pretty sharp. I actually like the gold with a little bit of metal flake combination with the red, but we need to redo them. So that'll be a fun project. Um, we'll get some new Brembo decals printed off and uh, stuck on there. Um, it needs a little bit of a paint correction, paint work. I actually already did that and filmed it. I got a little bit of a touching up that I want to do. You can see that it has the Mishimoto oil cooler. That's a pretty cool little addition. Uh, interior is pretty clean. Oh my gosh, it's probably gonna be too dark. Really clean seats. Uh, already has an aftermarket steering wheel with the NRG adapter. Um, carbon fiber uh, inlays for the door handles with the bride shift, shift uh, boot and Nismo shift knob. I actually like the shift knob. It's one of the first things I normally like to uh, switch out when I buy a car, but I actually like that one. It's really too dark. Nismo floor mats though. Got tinted windows already, so that's pretty sweet. I'm probably gonna have the, the hatch glass tinted as well. Um, I've talked, I talk about this in the video where we do the paint correction, but this is painted by the previous owner, which is really cool. You'll see it better in that other video, so stay tuned for that paint correction video. 
Uh, it is a Chevy Corvette color. And it's pretty dope. And they painted the mirrors and the rear spoilers to match. I think that's really cool. Really cool little touch. We get to do a little bit of engine bay cleanup, which I always like to do. I like some of the, the details. I uh, need a new filter. I, again, I go over this in a, uh, more in depth in a, in a video going over all the things that need to be done and things that I want to do immediately. So I'm not going to bore you with all that, but uh, just kind of a little bit of a rundown. The car itself has 138,000 miles on it. The engine has just over 60,000. This is a, a, it was a replacement engine at J, from JDM in Orlando. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, relatively fresh, no leaks and it looks clean. Usually that manifold is all jacked up and messed up. We're going to get rid of the engine cover because I hate that can and intake. You can see it needs a new filter, like I said, um, but there are some things we can do to get this cleaned up. Looks like we're going to need some uh, Z1 silicone tubes in here. I um, might have to paint some stuff. I got some ideas for some custom bits that I want to make, so either carbon fiber or or uh, fiberglass, but some custom stuff. So looking forward to taking on those little projects. It does have a different clutch in it, a performance clutch, and the previous owner had no idea what it was. It doesn't feel great right now. I gotta do a little clutch bleed, and I got some I got some parts on order. I'll, I'll say that already. I ordered some parts, and we're gonna get this thing uh, dialed in. And obviously, I drove it about an hour home. I uh, drove it around town today, uh, as you could see earlier in this video. The exhaust is a little bit aggressive for me, quite droney uh, in the cabin and quite raspy. Standard, standard Tomei on a DE, right guys? But overall, I think we got a good base to start with here. I was really torn in my search. Um, you know, previously when I was looking for these, uh, before I purchased the Jeep, uh, there was just a lot of junk on the market. They were hard to find decent ones at a fair price. Uh, the same is true now. Uh, so I had that previous experience in trying to find one that was in decent shape, uh, you know, that hadn't had an engine changed or didn't have a salvage title. Um, just people wanting crazy amounts of money for these things. I actually had my eye on a G37 coupe down in Atlanta. Uh, there was a G37 uh, manual sedan that I was interested in. Um, but I just, I wasn't feeling the sedan per se. I guess it would be a cool project to make it sort of a track car, but that was my intention for the next project. I wanted it to be uh, not a daily driver, but one that I either just gut and run as light weight as we possibly can. Um, just open it all up, have it be obnoxious and ignorantly loud and just have it be a track car that we just rip on, focus on. Uh, suspension, chassis stiffening stuff, wheels and tires, and uh, you know, get it tuned up and, and running right, and just rip it around a track. G37 coupe, would, G37 coupe would have been cool, cool for that. I would have gone for that. I just driving three hours to Atlanta to look at one. I just, you know, by the time I could make that happen with somebody who was willing to take a ride down there with me, it probably would have been sold. I already lost out an opportunity in one uh, in Columbia, which is just 90 miles from me, and. Um, that he had it sold before I got a chance to get down there and, and look at it. Uh, and then this one popped up, you know, 350Z was on my list. I wanted HR, but you know, we'll take a DE if we can find a nice clean one. Um, worked out a good deal. And so here we are. It's my first Nissan, Nissan uh, 350Z. But I literally got this card two days ago, uh, New Year's Eve. Uh, I haven't really even had it up on the lift. Uh, I did, like I said, a little bit of paint correction work on the hood and the hatch and I'll, you know, stay tuned for that video guys. I need to get it up on the ramps off the ground and take a look underneath it. I already know about some stuff I need to address. Um, and like I said, I made that video as well. Some of the things that need to be addressed immediately, uh, if not sooner. So stay tuned for that video as well. But I really want to do an in-depth video on uh, exploring all of the parts that this thing already has installed. Uh, because like I said, we're at, we're at a good, uh, a good base, a good starting point. Uh, you can see it's lowered pretty damn low. I think we need to raise it up a little bit and fix maybe the camber a little bit in the front. Um, but like I said, I want to see everything that this car has. We know it has non-resonated test pipes. We know it has a Tomei. 
Um, you know, we can obviously tell it's got coilovers, it's got the oil cooler, it's got some bits and pieces here and there, but I really want to get into it and find out exactly what this thing has and um, see what we need to do in terms of creating a list for future modifications. But I think we're starting the year off right with this thing, guys. It's going to be a fun little addition to the channel. Uh, it's already a little bit of a ripper. I got her out on some twisty roads today and I was actually surprised. I never, I've never driven a six-speed 350Z. I've driven an automatic. It was a bit of a dog, I'll be honest with you. And it was a customer car, so I didn't rip on it, of course. Uh, but getting this one out on uh, some twisty roads outside of town today, I was like, oh boy. It, it felt faster than the Q, I'll say that. It felt faster. I'm sure it was way slower, but it felt faster. Just being smaller, closer to the ground, uh, kind of this little nimble chassis, uh, it feels quick. So I'm pumped, pumped to get this thing out there. And it has not been tuned, that's the other thing. Uh, it doesn't throw a cell, a check engine light, uh, although it does have test pipes. So one of the lucky ones, I guess, but he did say that it hadn't been tuned. At least he didn't do it and, you know, it doesn't, uh, uh, you know, so uh, we got to get it to Soho, get it on the dyno. That's just, we just, we just got to. I'm sure some of you will be really excited about this car being added to the channel and I'm sure some of you will be a little bit disappointed, but... Uh, <laughs> You know, we're broadening horizons here. This is a platform I haven't explored and don't know a whole lot about, um, but I know it lends itself to some great possibilities and the aftermarket is just massive for these things. There are, there's a lot of stuff for the Q50 out there, but there is so much stuff for the Zs. So this is gonna be really exciting in terms of modifications and upgrades. Um, that's it, here we are. 2003 Nissan 350Z. I, I've been smiling about this one for the last couple of days, guys. I, I'm excited about it. I hope you are too. Um, but let's just let's just keep rolling. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see with this car. Let me know if you're disappointed or not, or if you're pumped about it like I am. I'm, I'm excited to move forward with this car. Big plans. 2022 is going to be a good year. Uh, hopefully it's a good year for you guys too. Wishing everybody nothing but the best, but uh, I'm ready. Let's get rolling. Thanks for watching this one, guys. Stay tuned. More Q50 stuff to come, too. Don't, don't, don't worry. There's more Q50 stuff coming, but there's going to be a lot of uh, uh, 350Z stuff coming, too. So stick around. Thanks for watching again. We'll see you in the next one.